What is up? It is the shut up and drive squat. So the way this is going to work is that you can use anything in your house. If you have a big weight, grab a big weight. If you have a big book, grab a big book. If you have something circular, anything circular that you can use, because we're going to be driving, grab it. For myself, I'm going to use a pot. So you can grab a pot from your kitchen. It works really well. Uh, and then you're just going to drive with it. A big binder, anything fill it up with papers. Anything works here. Just make sure you can extend your arms with a micro bend in your arms to start this song. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to back up a little bit. This is a wide squat this time. So you want your toes pointed out wide. Make sure your knee is in line with your big toe. You can put your device, your little thing that you're using your prop down for a second and then just sway side to side. This is a little warm up, opening up of your hips. So one of the biggest things I want to make sure you're not doing here is I see a lot of times people are, oh, it's easier to lean forward. It doesn't hurt as much. Now we want you to sit straight up like you're actually against the wall. That's going to be the best way to think about it. And then you're going to get a little bit lower, kind of pulse it out a little bit just to really warm up. So you're like you're going straight down. It's going to be a big opening once again of your hips and your glutes are working here. It's going to be great. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now big squats, lower, lift, let's go, down. So I want you to focus on your breath right here. So you're going to inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. And as soon as she says it, we're going to pick up our prop in three, two, and one. Pick it up. All right, so now from here, I'll point this way towards you. You're going to start to drive with your prop. So you want to make sure once again now that your arms are at shoulder height. Micro bend in your elbows, and you're just continuing that squat with that circular motion. Now some of us can kind of go here, but can you challenge yourself? Try to go all the way around, big circles with your shoulders. Woo! Wherever you're at, I always say modify for you. I definitely have some tight shoulders and some... Shoulder issues on my left side, but I'm going to continue moving until my body tells me to stop. So you take it down and then look up right back up. Continue with your breath. We're going to add some more in just a second. Here we go for four, three, two. We're going to hang down low right here in one. Just hold whatever you have out in front of you nice and long. And then from here, heel raises up and up. Let's go up and up. Woo! Get your calves engaged now. Core nice and tight. Arms stay out in front. Micro bend in your elbows for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Stay low. Two and one. This time your obliques. Try to keep that prop right in front of you as you twist using your core now. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Back to driving in your squats. Lower. And lift. Come on. You'll start to feel your quads fire up. Woo! Come back to your breath. Big full circles with your prop in front. You got this. Come on. Woo! My breath is off. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. That's. Check back in with your body. Can you go a little bit lower here for eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Here for four. Three, almost there. Two, we're going to hang down low here. In one, both heels up and pulse. Pulse, let's go. Pulse. Woo! Almost there. Core tight, shoulders stacked over your hips. Can you get your heels higher? Can you go lower? Almost there. Woo! Last little bit for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. Congratulations. Keep moving out there.